I know some of you believe it's you against the world. You want me to believe that everyone is against you? How about proving somebody right? How about all those people who did support you, who did encourage you, who loved you enough to tell you the truth, loved you enough to be honest with you? They drove you, they paid for you, they fed you, they clothed you, you cheered for them, they cheered for you, they helped you in practice, they picked you up, they took you home. Who was on your squad? Who do you want to prove right right now? If you are always trying to prove someone wrong, instead of proving someone right, that can't get you enough fuel for the long haul. You have got to realize that doing everything by yourself is the quickest path to burnout. Talent wins games, but teamwork wins championships. Do you just want to win games? Or do you want to win championships? I hear you talking. I don't need anybody. I don't trust anybody. But when that is your mindset, when that is your mentality, anger is the motivation. Pain is the motivation. Then revenge is what's driving you. Revenge can't be what drives you. It's not a long-term play. Eventually, Anger and revenge are proving someone wrong has its limits. Why? Because together, together we, we can. can. But if you really want to go further, you've got to be willing to come out of isolation. Welcoming support is one of the best gifts that you can give yourself. Yes, be strong, but also give yourself permission to be human. Trying to build your vision on your own places you at a disadvantage. Even when I know that I can grind harder, even when I know that I can stay up later and get it done by myself. Yeah, you may be better at it, but don't underestimate the power of teamwork. Talent wins games, but teamwork wins championships. Did you hear that? Did you catch that? That is powerful. You see, the isolation mindset is not healthy for you. This me against the world mindset is dangerous. In fact, I think this world is too busy for anyone to worry too much about you. This world is too selfish for people to be thinking too much about you. Why? Because they're thinking about themselves. But here is an idea. If you want more support, why not give it first? Everything you need in life must pass through another human's hands. I want to say that one more time so that you get it. Everything you need in life must pass through another human being's hands. That's why people are the most viable resource on this earth. That's why you can't have this me against the world mentality because you're going to block off your blessings. You're going to block off the people who have the resources. You see, God is trying to get things to you, but he has to use other humans. He has to use people in order to get it to you. Can I be clear? Can I be honest with you? The one thing might be holding you back is that you don't understand how important is it for you to understand people are here to be a resource for you. Everything you need in life is going to be given to you through another person. I believe success is a two-part process. Success, greatness, requires two things. We must get you right first. Can I ask you a question? Honestly, are you okay with correction? Are you okay with rebuke? Are you okay with someone telling you the truth? When someone tells you the truth, is that when they become your enemy? When someone tells you the truth, is that when you shut down? When someone tells you the truth, is that how you interpret it? That they are against you? They're not against you, they're for you because you can trust the rune of a friend. You can always trust the truth. Are you open to being coached? Are you coachable? Are you open to being taught? 
Are you teachable? Are you open to being mentored? I mean, have you ever been a mentee? Do you allow people to encourage you, influence you, and have impact? These are the resources you may be running from, but I'm telling you to run to the truth. Run to the honest truth. Run to rebuke. Run to correction. Stop being easy on you. Stop being tough on you. But here is an idea. If you want more support, why not give it first? I mean, you want people supporting you. You're so focused on you. Can I ask you a real question? Here comes the truth, don't run away. Here comes the honesty, don't run away. Who do you support? Who are you encouraging? Who are you clapping for? Who are you lifting up? Who are you cheering for? Who are you rooting for? You gotta use your energy the right way because the universe will give it back. Sometimes you gotta pay it forward and then you wait for the harvest to come your way. You need to give your support away freely. Why? Because together we can. I know you need more support, but so does your neighbor. I know you need support, but so does your friend. I know you need more support, but so does your brother. So does your sister. So does your friend. Let's work on you. Then work on your squad. And the most important part of you is what you give. Not what you take. Why? Because I need you. And you need me. And together, we can. Listen, I have gotten to the point where I will not try to do everything on my own. I am so over trying to fight serious battles on my own. I am so over trying to build my business on my own. The only way to grow is to have someone tell you the truth. A talented and passionate person, that's great. But a talented and passionate team, now that's a force to be reckoned with. And I want you to understand that at some point, you're gonna have to realize that you have taken yourself as far as you can. You don't have to wait until you get to your breaking point. You don't have to wait until you're at the point of, of being ready to give up. You can start building your support system now. You can start building your team now. You can develop your growth strategy now. And so I want you to know that you don't have to have all the answers. This is coming from a recovering perfectionist, okay? You don't have to have all the answers. That's the beauty of having the right people in your corner. You need at least one person in your corner who can see what you can't see. And as a matter of fact, I recommend that you position yourself around people who will pull the greatness out of you. Yes, that means stretching you. And when you hear someone spewing division, don't take part in that. Division is unfruitful. You can get so much more done when you're working in unity. So who are you connected to and what are y'all going to do to make the world a better place? When you are going through a tough time or you're fighting a difficult battle, don't try to figure it all out on your own. Don't try to compete with the person who has been sent to support you. It's not a competition. The only person you need to be in competition with is the person you were yesterday. <laughs>